are operating perhaps at best 40% of their normal numbers of flights. But there's been something of a boom in demand for private jet travel. People are prepared to pay extra, apparently, to avoid public airport terminals and commercial flights. I've been speaking to Mark Briffer. He's the chief executive of Air Partner, the UK company that's the world's largest air charter provider. I asked him whether his company had seen demand for private jets increase. So the private jet inquiries leading up to August, we were up as a business by 170% year on year. Where we've really seen an uptick is in our our jet card sales, where year on year they've gone up by 50%. Just explain, what is a jet card? So a jet card is almost like an Oyster card, where you buy hours on a card, you deposit some money, and then you draw down on the card as and when you require to charter a jet. So who who is buying the hours? Who's using business jets who wasn't using them before? Yeah, so we're getting a lot of uh, new entrants to the market, particularly high net worth individuals. Um, we're seeing a significant um, you know, move towards the leisure market rather than the business market. We're seeing the business market falling away, but an increase in the leisure market. So mainly high net worths moving their families on summer holidays and, and taking up vacations. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to avoid mass travel so they don't want to mix with other people at airports, so hence using a private jet? Is, is that what's behind it, do you think? So firstly, it's to get, get themselves away from the, uh, the big airports and into private jet terminals where they've got that personalised service, uh, feeling less exposed to the virus. And then the, the speed of which hanging around at the airport clearly goes away at the same time, so you can instantly turn up and, and depart straight away. But of course, th- there's no special rules in terms of quarantine or entry uh, in and out of countries for private jet users. If you use a private jet, you still have to quarantine or have a COVID test or whatever it is uh, for where you're travelling. You, you do, but what we're tending to find here when, when we're seeing the leisure traffic moving, people are going down to their, their second homes uh, on holiday for, for quite a lengthy period of time, taking their children when they finish school and, and just going away to relax, to get away from all the hubbub of the, uh, of the UK. What's happened to rates then for, for chartering aircraft? If there is more demand, has it become more expensive to fly in this way? In the quieter months, when the children are back at school and leisure traffic is starting to go away, uh, rates have reduced. Uh, But in the peak season, in the height of the summer, we've actually seen rates hold up pretty well. In actual fact, some of the transatlantic rates have actually increased slightly because demand is is, is a lot stronger. Uh, So do me a deal, Mark. I want to take four people down to the south of France this weekend. Uh, uh, How much for a a return flight on a, a, I don't know, an eight-seater jet? If you go down to to the Côte d'Azur, it's going to cost you a return if you went out on a Friday. Um, got a bit of suntan, came back on a Sunday, cost you around about £25,000. Do you think this will continue? I actually think on the leisure side, people will be starting to use private jets, I I think a lot more, until the confidence starts to grow in the commercial airliners. And the other thing I'd say to you as well, the football flights, teams moving around the UK, they're using the private jets, the 50-seater airplanes, to to get them around, because they can't use the train. There's an uptick there as well at the same time. And then you've got the transfer market, the football transfer market. We've been pretty busy there, moving players in and moving players out as well. And, yeah, and, until people can get more confidence and get used to living with the virus, private jets, I think the demand for it will, will continue to grow. That was Mark Briffer from Air Partner. My markets guest this morning is Laura Lapp.